Hi everyone, it's your girl Nick. I'm coming to you to give you an update on Thyvance and where I'm at on my 1200 calorie diet. So I have been on Thyvance for one week now. Um, doing pretty good with it. The insomnia thing has kind of cleared up for the most part on its own. Um, part of that was to start getting up earlier and taking it earlier. So now I take it between seven and eight o'clock in the morning. Um, that's definitely helped with the trouble falling asleep. I still wake up a lot during the night. I'm not sure if that's just me or if it's the Vivance, um, but I'm usually up a couple times in the early morning, starting around 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I'll be up periodically until I'm up for the day at around 8 o'clock. Um, but doing pretty good on it, other than the insomnia. Um, I get, I notice I get a little nauseous after eating which is new for me. I'm not sure, really sure what's going on. Not sure if it's related honestly to the Vivance or if it's related to the metformin that I have been on for two and a half months. Um, I've been having a lot of um, stomach upset and GI issues since starting the metformin. Um, I'm not diabetic, but what has happened is I have high insulin levels, which is like a precursor to pre-diabetes. So we're trying to get a handle on things uh, ahead of time. So that's why my endocrinologist has put me on uh, metformin for that. And I'm sure I see her again in, in a couple weeks. We'll probably do repeat lab works to see what's going on with my insulin levels and go from there. Um, but ever since starting the metformin, I've had GI issues nonstop. Um, so I'm not sure if the continued uh, nausea after eating is a byproduct of just a metformin, if it's the Vyvanse, or what I suspect is that the combination of the metformin and the Vyvanse has exacerbated the issue a little bit. Um, so pretty much those are the only two things that I have to say about the side effects of Vyvanse for me is initially dealing with some insomnia, trouble sleeping, um, and some nausea afterwards. Um, it definitely has helped a lot so far with the um, obsessions about food, the obsessive thoughts about food, those have um, calmed down quite a bit, even though I'm only on 30 milligrams. Um, and the actual urges to binge have also calmed down quite a bit since starting on the Vyvanse. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I have also been on a weight loss journey, uh, which is what brought up more of these issues with the binge eating disorder. Um, I started to do a 1200 calorie diet about mid-October um, and have been doing fairly well with that. Um, so far total, I've lost 18 pounds in two and a half months. Um, and since being on the Vyvanse, I've actually lost three pounds um, since a week ago starting on the Vyvanse. Um, so I'm now officially out of the 230s. I'm 229 point something. I just can't remember. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be patient. Of course, we all want that quick fix. We want to, like, lose weight like that. And then, you know, that's not reality. That's not how things are going to be. But we all want it. You know, honestly, we all want it. So I'm just trying to be patient. Um, you know, it, it's working on it every day, you know, checking my calorie counts, um, you know, trying not to feel guilty if I go over those 1,200 calories. I still deal with those feelings of guilt. Um, if I go over the 1,200 calories and feeling like complete shit if I go over the 1,200 calories. Um, so far, I haven't really, since being on the Vivance, I haven't really dealt with the yo-yoing of my weight yet. Um, I suspect that will happen again as my body gets used to the Vivance. Um, so that's another problem I have. When my, what happens with, it seems like with my weight, is I'll lose, I'll lose, I'll lose, and then I'll get stuck a little bit, and then I go up. And then I go down, and then I go up, and then I go down by a couple pounds, and then my body releases like two pounds of weight, and then I go stuck again, up, down, up, down. So that seems to be my cycle with this weight loss. Um, and then so trying to frame it in the long term and not getting upset about those regains is really hard for me. I still still struggle with that. Um, but you know, just trying to take it every meal at a time, every day at a time. Um, I think, cause I am very lazy y'all. I'm sorry. I'll be honest. I am very lazy, but I think I'm going to start slowly incorporating exercise into my routine. Um, I haven't really exercised since I got sick 
summer of 2016. Um, just as a side note, uh, in my weight loss journey, I've always tried to do different things. I've been on different weight loss medications. I've been on um, Orlistat, which is the prescription version of the over-the-counter ally. Um, lost weight with that. I uh, have been on Contrave. Did not lose any weight with that. I have been on Qsimia, um, which I lost 20 pounds on that and then had to get off of it because I was having, we added in a new medication and the interaction between that new medication and the Qsimia, I was actually having visual, visual hallucinations. So I had to stop the Qsimia before I was ready. So I ended up obviously regaining that weight and then more. Um, then I decided, I did some research and I found out they had this balloon. Um, the one that I had was called Obera. And it's basically, I say it looks like a breast implant. When it's inflated, it's about this big. They put it into your stomach under um, endoscopy, deflated, obviously, and they fill it up with saline. Um, and what it does is it mimics taking up space in your stomach. So you only have so much space in your stomach. The idea is that since you don't have so much space, you eat less and you lose weight that way. Uh, it was supposed to be a six-month program. I know I'm getting off a toe tangent, but it was supposed to be a six a six month program of having the balloon in, but a total of twelve months. Um, they did warn me that there was to be some nausea to be expected. However, just to let y'all know, in case you're wondering about this Obera, they did not, y'all, did not warn me about how severe the nausea was going to be. And when I say severe, it was severe. All the medications they gave me to help with the nausea and the muscle, stomach muscle spasms and everything didn't do anything. And I was suffering. I was crying. So I had it put in on a Monday. And by that Thursday, I was begging the doctor to remove it. He was trying to persuade me to, you know, let it stay in, let, you know, think about it over the weekend. I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done feeling like shit. I'm done suffering. So I had them take it out on that Friday, and um, I had some difficulty waking up from the anesthesia, which I never had before. Um, but long story short, I got really, really sick and ended up in the hospital. I will actually, you know, as I'm talking, I will make another video about that, about my experience. Um, but that obviously did not work for me. Um, but from being sick, I just had some complications, ended up gaining like 50 pounds. Um, so now I'm really trying to lose weight uh, one, to make myself healthier, two, because eventually my husband and I want to have a child and I don't want to have additional risks because I'm overweight. Um, and three, just to get back at the endocrinologist that I saw two and a half months ago where I, she really pissed me off. So I want to go back and be like, oh, you wanted me to lose 12 pounds? Well, now I've lost this much weight. Uh, so I kind of want to stick it to her. So just to recap, this is an update on how things are going after one week of being on Vivance and an update on how much weight I've lost so far on my 1200 calorie diet. If you guys have any questions, please put them below. If you have any comments, put them below. Please subscribe. Um, I'm getting into this vlog thing. It's still very new for me, but hopefully this, if again, as I've said before, if this can help even one person, I'm all for it. I'm all for putting my shit out there, even if it helps one person. So y'all have a good day. I'll check in with y'all soon. Bye-bye.